In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to accompany Cooley's Reel in the mode of E Dorian. I have Shane Hayes on the button accordion to play it through for us. We're going to go through it once at session tempo. Then I'm going to go through the rhythm. I'm going to bring up the chord charts on the side and we'll go through things nice and slow. And then at the end, I have a bonus for you. You can also jump to any of the timestamps right below to any section that you want. Let's get to it. Hey, it's Aidan here, AidanCoin.com, where I teach you how to play in Dadgad guitar. If this is your first time here and you want to learn more about Irish music, songs, and guitar techniques, click the subscribe button now and the bell so you don't miss out on anything. We'll start with the rhythm, and this is a reel, Joe Cooley's reel, so 4-4 four, four time, and we can do a very simple reel rhythm to start off, so 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now, some people might like to count it 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, instead of 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... And the reason for that is there might be a pulse, more of a, an inclination to, to have a pulse on the 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, pushing that 1. So, if you're not counting it like that, you can count it with the upstrokes as ands. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... But you have to remember that the pulse is now going to be on the 1 and the 3. So 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... So whichever way you want to count it there. So I wanted to show you an extra rhythm technique that I use for this particular tune. And that includes a boom chuck at the start twice. So it goes... Boom chuck, boom chuck, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, boom chuck, boom chuck, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So the boom chuck, you're just going bass, treble, bass, treble, and then you're going back into your standard real rhythm. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Whichever way you want to count it, if you want to go one and two and three and four and. So boom chuck, boom chuck, one and two and three and four and boom chuck, boom chuck, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So whichever way you want to push it. And that up to speed sounds like this. Two chuck, boom chuck. One, two. Boom chuck, boom chuck, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Boom chuck, boom chuck, one and two and three and four. And boom chuck, boom chuck, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Boom chuck, boom chuck, one and two and three and four. And so that'd be just something you might be able to add into this tune. And just start slow. Boom chuck, boom chuck. So bass, treble, bass, treble. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Boom chuck, boom chuck. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And it might be something that adds to the tune, just pushes it or creates a different feel to it. So uh, work on that, and then we'll move on to the chords now. We're on to the chords now, and I'll show you how I play part one. I'll give you a simple version, and then we'll work up to what I'm playing here. So cap is on the second fret because we are in it's E Dorian that we're playing in, but we don't really have to worry about that because a lot of the chords in E minor are going to work. The only difference between E minor and E Dorian is one note, which is the C sharp is in E Dorian and E minor has a C natural. But we, we really don't have to worry too much about that when we're playing this tune because we're not really going to be hitting that, even that C sharp. Maybe as a passing note, we could go if we want, but in the examples I'm going to give, we're not even going to hit that note, so it doesn't really matter. So, how I play part one sounds like this. So, we'll go through it uh, chord by chord and line by line but to start off i just want to show you a very simple version of it we're going to go just play this d modal shape and we can go into the c back to the d modal up to a minor 
So we could really just play three chords there for that section. Something like that, that will work perfectly fine. But what I like to do are just have little lines that connect, connect the dots really. We, so one thing to make a bit of movement in this D modal shape, I, I like to play this second finger here and kind of hammer on to the fourth. So that just kind of creates a bit of movement on this, this single chord. You're just second finger to fourth finger on that A string. From here, we want to get into the C chord, chord shape. And what I like to do is I introduce this E minor. I'll stick with the, the chord shape names. So this is a D minor shape. We've added in our second finger to introduce that minor tone. And then I have a little bit of a walk down into the C. So I go. So they'd be little small things you could do to make it a bit more interesting. So instead of just hammering out this D modal chord, we can add in that second finger. And then to get to, instead of just jumping to your C shape, we can go. Cool. So after that, I'd open up. I just lift off my second finger to have that open A string ring out, so it goes. So it's just lifting it off, hammering back on. So we really just had two chords there, this D modal and the C. What we added on was we, we made that D modal D minor, we had a little walk down into the C, and when we're hammering on that D modal as well. So the next chord that we had left was this A minor shape right up here, and we can slide up to that. So that's just a little add on. You could, instead of just playing this E minor, you can slide up to it. Let's try that again, a bit slower. We're gonna go D, into the C, open up, back to the D. We're gonna slide up to A. And we could just finish like that. We can just slide up to A. But instead, you might've seen me do this walk down from the A minor. And that'd be playing A minor down to this an F shape, E minor shape. So there's two ways of playing this. If you happen to play your A minor shape like this with your first, third and fourth, you hold that third and fourth down, you slide it down. So be on the third fret. You drop your second finger. You get that, just that. It's gonna be an E shape note. Then but if you happen to play the A minor shape with your second and third finger, you can slide those down instead. And then play with your first finger. Whichever way you want to do it. So go back, we'll go from the top, we go D modal into the C, open up, D modal. Get it ready for the slide. So that'd be part one, once round. The second time round, I just do something slightly different towards the end. So the very start is the same. Into the C, open up, back to the D modal. Here we go. So what I'm doing is sliding on the inside here. So I'm instead of going up to the outside, low A minor, I'm just tonally bringing it up a bit, 
I'm still playing that A note or with the cap on, of course. So to get this shape here, and it's a little awkward with your fourth and second finger. You can play with your third and first finger, but that might be a little tricky coming from where we were. It's just a little easier with your, I, I find, with my little finger. So I'm just walking down there. So that's just something a little different to bring out those higher tones towards the end of part one. Let's now have a listen to part one at a slow tempo. If you're enjoying things so far, please do give it a like and a thumbs up. I put videos like this out on the channel all the time. And if you have any comments at all, leave them down below and I'll get back to you. We're on to the chords for part two now and you'll be glad to know there's not a lot changing. So how I play it sounds like this. Something like that. So we're based off these same chords again. You'll notice a few simil similar changes. We're going from this D modal. You might notice that I'm doing this kind of a raking kind of uh, effect at the start. And maybe this little kind of a hammer on pull off. So you can kind of play around with little little tricks like that. So, but it's still on this D modal shape, D minor shape, C shape. So the thing that I did change was going to this. We had this F major shape. I slide up from here, kind of a G modal E shape, just two finger, and then up to this A minor. So. We're going. So that's a bit of a hammer on. And then to finish off what we did before, going down to the F. You can play it with your second finger here as well, keeping that modal shape. If you want to keep that. So that's just instead of playing with your second and third fingers, whichever you're more comfortable with. I like holding this shape because your little finger isn't moving. That's staying put for a lot of it. So you have your D modal, dropping your second finger, little finger is staying put, dropping your third finger, little finger is staying put, and then you're sliding up and your little finger is still there. So it's kind of just kind of trying to be a bit more economical with your, your finger placements. Because if you go like this, D modal, lifting off the little finger, you're use, now using your second and third finger, sliding up and sliding up. Yes, you're, you're keeping that finger, those fingers in place, but that little finger kind of moves a bit. So whichever you find more comfortable. So, Going from the top again. You can go like that, or you can add in that. So just little ways of small little subtle stuff that you can change. At the very end, I do this big walk up going this open D, E, F, G, A. So, and you can do that fuller chords if you want with two finger chords.
two different ways of going about it. Just with the keeping your little finger planted again. Or like this. And that's basically it in a nutshell. Of course, there's plenty more that can be added on and you can get really funky with these type of tunes, but that's how I, I play it and kind of drive it home with the right hand. And, you know, that's what you can play around with and mix it up a bit. So let's have a listen to part two now uh, at a slow tempo with Shane Hayes. <laughs> few added extras I wanted to show you as well we covered some of these these little pull-offs hammer-ons but on this C chord we can add in this high little finger on the fifth fret and it's quite nice when we're going through it just having those high tones added in so so it might be a bit of a stretch but it's a nice little thing to add in also when we're up on this a minor shape we could do this mid shape or high shape to get those tones out as well it might sound like this something like that where you're sliding up adding in those high notes so that might be nice to add in as well one other thing is maybe a triplet. Now I have a full video on triplets and I won't go into too much detail here. I'll leave that up in the description so you can check that out. But I might tr try and throw one in here, so. Just like that. So it's just a case of starting slow, building it up and seeing where in the tune you can, can add it in. So as I said, the video is up here. To, to learn how to throw in some triplets here and there. So that said, let's have a listen now to part one and two slow and try and add some of this stuff in yourself. Now I've got a bit of a bonus for you. I have Shane Hayes just to play the tune nice and slow on his own for you so you can practice through without me getting in the way. Mighty stuff, well I hope you got something out of that tutorial. If you did, you might enjoy this one here, which is Out on the Ocean Jig with Shane Hayes playing the accordion again. And I will see you on the next one. All the best. <laughs>